performance. You know, I think right now we've, we're um, playing our best softball, which is what you want um, at this time of the year. And we just need to be able to carry that into Oklahoma city because um, it's the next big challenge, but very, very proud of this group. Um, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of dedication to maintain our bubble and be able to even get on the field this year and play. So, I mean, I commend these young ladies for the, the job they've done um, over these months and, you know, for the senior class and for everyone, just the, to be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor um, all year and um, have it work out and culminate into a victory and another trip to Oklahoma City is is pretty um, pretty fun for me to see. Very, very excited um, about our return trip. Uh, hats go off to Arkansas. Um, great team, great program. Um, I think uh, Courtney's done a wonderful job, and and they're going to be something to reckon with for a long time. She's built a culture here that I think um, is going to be a winning culture. And, and um, so we, we beat a really good team on the road, great fans. Um, you know, it was just uh, one of those experiences that you, you try to prepare kids for, but you really can't till you get here. And then I was really amazed um, that our kids played um, loose, um, had fun, you know, competed hard, all the things we've talked about all year, they kind of put it all together because um, it, it, it definitely could be a challenging place if you didn't have the experience that we have with our senior class. Troy, go ahead. So Coach, you have a senior in Alyssa Palomino Cardoso that's been through two torn ACLs, an injury this year, a little bit of a scare. And on her birthday today, she hits the home run to take the lead. What, what is that moment like for you as a coach? Well, I am so happy for her. I mean, um, I, I know what she's been through. I've, I've been through it with her. And um, I knew today was her birthday. And, and to see her um, put a great swing on a good pitch and hit a ball out, put us ahead two to one was, um, I mean, very fitting for her. You know, she's one of those kids that you pull for and been through ups and downs. But today she was a hero. And, and, um, I think it's well deserved, and I'm just so happy for her because um, she has had a, a career that has been very challenging. And for most kids, um, probably uh, it'd been easy to throw in the towel, but she's not one of those types. You know, she's she's um, competitive. Um, she's a great teammate, and um, when you see good things happen to good people, um, it, it makes you excited. And then, can you talk about Alyssa Denham's performance in the circle today? Yeah. She's another one, you know, Alyssa's had her ups and downs, but today she, this was her moment. And I told her before the game, I said, this is your moment. And um, she went out and, and threw a hell of a ball game and against a really good team, you know? And so um, I'm, I'm happy for her. And, you know, you want all of your pitchers to, you want all your players to feel confident going into Oklahoma city. And I think right now this was a big boost for her. Um, Hannah Bowen threw well and, Mariah was chomping at the bit to get in. So I feel, I feel good right now that, like I said, we're playing our best softball and we'll uh, get there and, and um, get after it. Sean, go ahead. So uh, obviously coach, congratulations on another uh, world series uh, appearance, chalk it up with uh, one of your uh, many accomplishments. So do you feel um, that seeing so many sec teams has been able to prepare you now to go against Alabama another SEC team. Do you think that maybe it's been like sort of a bit of advantage for your team to be playing with so many in the same conference? Well, um, you know, Alabama's a really good team and I, I know a lot about them and, and they're going to be a challenge. You know, their, their, their pitching is really good. Um, and um, they don't hit the long ball very much, but they do um, put some hits together and score some runs. I mean, they're, they're a good team. And, you know, I think um, being able to come here uh, hopefully will be a step in preparation for us um, playing Ole Miss. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's right now it's, it's really, it's not necessarily the opponent, but uh, how you play. And, and if you execute the game in the circle and you execute the game offensively and defensively, then you got a chance to play with anyone. And I really feel that way, but um, we are, we know that, um, that Alabama's hot right now too. So it should be a really good game. I look forward to it. And we, we went to Alabama, what, three years ago. And um, 
or maybe it was two years ago and um, played them. So, yeah, I think this environment, and I really compliment um, Arkansas with their, their fan support. Um, I think this environment is, was very helpful. You know, the only one I can compare it to is Arizona, but it's completely different because they're, they're cheering for you. Um, other than that, this year, we haven't had a lot of fans. So this was the first time that I think our kids um, needed to respond to that feeling un uncomfortable, you know, trying to feel comfortable being uncomfortable. And I think they did a great job with that. And then, uh, Coach, so today with uh, Denim and Palomino Cardoza were definitely a key role. But when you look at the entire from Super all the way back to the Tucson, all of your graduating seniors have had big plays or played such a huge part. So how happy does that make you as a coach, you know, even with the College World Series now bound, that all of your players that will play here for one final time have had their moments, whether it be yes. now or in the past? Absolutely. You know, and I've said this numerous times, I think this senior class is the gold standard um, as a coach. You know, not often you get seven kids that, um, that do all the right things, both on and off the field, in the classroom, in the community. Um, they're good teammates. Um, they're great leaders. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed. I, it, it took me 37 years to, to, to put together, you know, a, a group of seven that, that kind of run the show. And, um, and so I commend them and so happy for them, but I'm also happy for some pretty good freshmen that have played well this year. You know, Carly Scoopin had a huge, um, at bat today. And, um, you know, she is a, a kid that's got a great future ahead of her. She's got great presence at the plate. Janelle Miono, um, has been really good. Charlize Palacio, she has been, um, absolutely steady. And so you mix those kids in with a bunch of seniors, then, you know, you got a chance of, of doing some special things. And this is one of the things that they've done. So we're, we're very happy. PJ, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Uh, what does it mean to you that it's this group of seniors who are getting you, now you're back-to-back -back in the World Series yeah. and that they're the ones who've done it? Yeah, I, I mean, when you recruit players, and um, I knew that this group was going to be special. Um, the, the ultimate goal was to, to be able to play for a championship, to get to Oklahoma City. And so it's, um, it's very rewarding for me that um, this group has, has panned out. You know, like I said yesterday, when people ask about recruiting classes, I always tell them to wait till they're juniors. And um, this class has proven um, their worth. Uh, to our university and our program and and I'll be indebted to them for a long time because they've been fun to coach and great players and great people. Thanks. Brian, go ahead. Um, so you were talking earlier this week about how you've gotten better at enjoying the moment. So what does it feel like to have another shot to go to Oklahoma City and win another national championship? Uh, it's, it's pretty special. You know, um, you yeah, for a long time, I took these moments for granted, you know, and maybe it took a little spurt when we didn't get back there and you have to keep answering that question to the people and, and uh, because that really is our standard, you know, our, our standard every year is to get to Oklahoma City and play for a championship. And, and so it's very rewarding right now to, to, to see it happen. Um, it, it was a very challenging road. Um, I don't think people understand how tough it is um, just to get there. And, and so um, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this moment um, very much so. And I'm enjoying this team. And I think from here on out, you know, um, whatever happens is going to happen. But you know what? Um, they've proven to me that they're going to be great people the rest of their life. And to me, that's important. And, you, and your players always talk about getting back to the College World Series for you. So mm -hmm. what does it feel like to have players that back you like that? Well, I, I, I appreciate that, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's for all of us. I mean, it takes a village to make this thing work. And, you know, I, I really want to thank Caitlin and, and Taryn for the job they've done. Um, I couldn't ask for better uh, people on our staff. And there's a lot of people on our staff that have, have done the work. So it's, it's all of us, you know, and, and 
I'm honored that they they think it's for me, but it's it's really not. I mean, it's not about me. It's about the players and it's about the program. And I'm the gatekeeper, you know. And and I've always felt that way. You know, if you really think about it, you're here for a short time. So I just want to do the best job that I can do and and keep this program consistent throughout the years. And and hopefully I've done that. Eric, last one. Coach, you speak of Caitlin and Taryn, but just talk about them and your entire staff. This is a unique year. I mean, come last fall, who nobody knew what kind of season was going to be ahead if there was going to be a season. Does that make this even more, uh, uh, you know, rewarding and maybe so one day you're going to look back and say, wow, this is what really a special year considering all the obstacles away from the field. Absolutely. There's there's no doubt this is a, a moment in time in my life that I'll never forget because of um, what we've had to go through. Number one, what was taken away from us and not being able to play the game. Um, not often do kids ever get to that point until they're done with their careers. Um, but to put your senior year on hold and not know whether you're going to play or not, I think it kind of woke everyone up. And I know we were just biting at the bit to get back together, to get back on the field at Hill and Brand and, and play the game of softball. And so I think this staff and, and um, these players have, have done a tremendous job in, in doing what they needed to do to, to protect our bubble because you've seen it in other sports and in softball where um, things kind of blew up, you know, it only took one or two staff members or players um, to keep a team from getting to the field and play. And that was the one thing that we were trying to protect. And, you know, I've got to thank Bruce Johnson, um, our trainer, who's, who's done a wonderful job um, testing us twice a week and taking care of the, the athletes, our medical staff, um, but the 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 vision that our our president Dr. Robbins has had, being at the forefront as a as a cardiac surgeon, he uh, the medical side was very important to him, and he 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 really gave us an opportunity to test our athletes frequently, and I think that was a big part of getting through this season. Coach, thank you. Congrats. Okay, thank you.